What's up you guys, Zeddy at Fliptronics. We're gonna be checking out 10 of the most realistic iPhone games to play in 2019. All right, so as always, I'll throw links in the description if you wanna check any of these games out. I'm gonna kick things off with one of the coolest games, you know, to ever come out as far as like a bank robbery style game goes. It's called Armed Heist. The game is amazing. Hope you guys enjoy a little bit of the gameplay on it. And like I said, uh, you know, check some of these games out ASAP and let's get into it. Alright, so this game is just a straight up bank robbery style game, you know, each level, you know, you're going to be doing some kind of armed robbery and, you know, it is just very realistic. The game reminds me of the movie The Town with Ben Affleck, best way I could, uh, you know, describe it, and it's just really cool, so you know, this is basically the first level. Alright, let's take out these, uh, these cops here. Got that zoom. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna hop on to the next game, but definitely check this one out. It is very high graphic and just really fun. All right, so the next game we've got here is going to be Shadow Gun Legends. This is an awesome first-person shooter. Uh, it's level-based. You know, there's a bunch of different things you can do in this, and you can really start a campaign that you can put a ton of hours into. Alright, let's kill some aliens. Alright, so this game's almost like a cross between Nova and Halo. It's kind of how I feel this game is. It's just very similar. Alright, so we're gonna hop on to the next game, but definitely check out Shadow Gun Legends, it's awesome. Alright, so the next one we've got here is gonna be Tekken. Uh, definitely one of my favorite fighting games, you know, of all time. You know, I'm a huge fan of the old school arcade games, and you can unlock over 40 different characters in this one. The game looks gorgeous, and, uh, you know, it's just, it's, it's awesome. I mean, you gotta play it. So, we'll get into a match here, and, um, let's see what I'm gonna use here. I guess we'll go with, we'll go with Fang versus the Punk. Ooh, nice kick. Oh, nice perfect score right there. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed some gameplay on Tekken. The next thing we've got here is going to be Into the Dead 2. And this is another, you know, awesome uh, first-person shooter zombie game. And, you know, one of my favorites. Definitely like a top three. So, we'll get into a level here and uh, hope you guys enjoy some of it. Get a close up kill. Oh, triple kill. That was <laughs> that was awesome.
blasting away here. I love the close-ups. Oh, feeling it. Feeling the hurt. All right, so we're gonna move on to the next game, but you know, obviously, you know, I definitely think everybody should check this game out. You can do the campaign on it. They've got a survival mode, and it's a pretty creepy game too. All right, so the next one we've got here is gonna be CSR Racing 2, one of the most realistic racing games out there. It's a tap style racing game. Uh, you can start a campaign. There is a multiplayer in this as well, and you know, honestly, it's just a gorgeous looking game. So I hope you guys enjoy some of it. Oh, we're gonna have an easy win right here. Awesome. All right, so CSR Racing 2, check it out. It's an awesome racing game. Uh, and the next game we've got here is also gonna be somewhat of a racing game. It's called Neon Drive. One of my favorite games of all time. Um, you know, it's like a tab style game. There's strategy involved and the game just looks gorgeous. I mean, it's a really good looking game. Reminds me of the movie Tron and one of these uh, beginning levels here, you're gonna see like we're moving into a city that's got like purple. It just looks beautiful. So this is also going as a paid game. So you do have to dish out a couple bucks for it, but it's definitely worth it. It's also got like an 80s arcade style vibe. All right, so the next game we've got here is gonna be F1 Mobile. Awesome racing game right here. Uh, very realistic and, you know, uh, very fun. So, you know, definitely check this one out too if you're looking for a really cool racing game. All right, so we're gonna move on to the next game, which is gonna be Animus Harbinger. So this is a third person <clears throat> hack and slash type game. It is really fun, uh, it's level based, and you know, it is currently free for download. So I'm gonna hop into a new game here. Let's get into it. Oh, 
Oh, awesome. Alright, so I'm gonna keep things going here, but uh, you know, if you're looking for like a really fun hack and slash, I mean, this game is very high graphic, very fun, and definitely worth a download. Alright, so Left to Survive, one of my favorite zombie shooters, third person out there. Uh, great campaign on here, um, and a very addictive game at that. You know, I love this game, it's one of my favorite zombie games of all time right now, and uh, you know, definitely recommend everybody check it out. All right, so the last game we've got on this list is going to be Alien Blackout. Now, this is the newest Alien game to you know come out for the series, and if you're a fan of Aliens, I definitely recommend you check this out. Now, it is a strategy-based game, so it's not like an action-based game. Um, it's creepy. Uh, you know, it's a game where you're playing as Ripley and you're navigating people through the ship to basically not get killed by the aliens that are on it and uh you know it's just a really cool game it is going as a paid ga game however it costs i think uh somewhere like 4.99 right now so hopefully they drop the price on it but if you're a fan of the alien series absolutely give this game a download Alright, so this game's got a cool beginning because you're going to see some of the uh, crew come in and then an alien's going to pop up out of nowhere and kind of just freak everybody out. It's, it's pretty Hello. sweet. This is Amanda Ripley. Can you hear me? I am Executive Director Naoko Yutani. We have... Not so loud. We are all in danger. <sighs> Alright, check it out right there. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to wrap things up here, um, but if you're looking for some of the most realistic iPhone games to play in 2019, you know, these are them. I'll have links in the description. Please hit the like and share. Thanks for watching, and we'll see y'all later.